Wouldn't it be nice to know? Wouldn't it be nice to automate actions based off of whether or not your emails are being opened or not opened? It would be pretty awesome if you could do that through Infusionsoft, all automated, right? That's what you're going to learn in today's video. Okay. So, my name is Josh Marzen. I am the owner of Ice Accelerate and also CVO Acceleration. I'm also a co host of Build Your Utopia as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So, the first thing is, is you want to go into your Infusionsoft application and go to settings underneath marketing. Click on automation links. Go ahead and create a new automation link. Okay. Okay, and then from here, go ahead and name this. So we're going to name it Opened. As you can see, I've done this before. Open Test Broadcast. You can leave the uh, these uh, questions and these uh, portions uh, blank. You don't have to worry about that. So don't worry about that at all. And then hit Save. And then go to the Actions tab here. Okay. And then here, you, what, what you want to do is you want to apply remove a tag when uh, this action uh, automation link, I should say, is initiated. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and find a tag, and I've got one right here that I've created just for this. Hit save, hit save, okay, and hit save and close. Okay, so we just made an automation link. Now, a note about automation links, they're not used very often because automation links, uh, for the most part, you can do almost all the actions now in the campaign builder. Um, there, there is very rare that there's an action someone wants to do that can't be done in the campaign builder. This is why automation links typically aren't used. But you have to use them in this case. This is kind of a hack that I'm going to teach you. So this way you can implement this into your own funnel and your own backend processes. So this way you can automate actions that occur whether or not an email is open. Okay. So I've got an automation link here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into an email. Click on email. Okay. I don't want to send it to that test contact. I want to actually send it to a different test contact. Now, just because you're getting this private email, don't start spamming me, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so I uh, just added that, as you can see here. I'm going to click on uh, Next, okay, and then it's going to be from you know my email at Ice Accelerate. Okay, I'm going to go Edit Email. Okay, I'm just going to delete that just to clean it up. I mean, not that it matters, but, and then I'm going to go to Links, and scroll down. You'll see your automation link. This is the automation link that I just walked you guys through that you just created. Okay, I'm going to click Insert close okay and then I'm gonna go to snippets HTML I'm gonna drag this I'm gonna put it right here in the footer okay so here's what we're doing here now typically let me just teach you something about HTML if you're not familiar with HTML when you uh, are actually creating a clickable link in a document or you know a, a web page and you're not using code what you're actually creating is this you're actually creating this snippet of code with the link that you just set to go here. Okay, So that automation link is a link as well. That, it's a link that would normally go here. What we're doing though is we're taking that link and we're putting it into this snippet. Now this means that we're uh, sourcing an image. Okay, uh, So typically when you're using this snippet of code you're actually displaying an image and you're displaying you're sourcing it from somewhere uh, the destiny wherever you you, you tell uh, the browser via this HTML snippet wherever you're telling the browser where that image is being stored but in this case we're not doing an image we're actually gonna f basically trick browsers so I'm gonna do image source equals parentheses tilde capital L I N K hyphen nine zero three six okay tilde again parentheses okay and then I'm gonna go 
with, I did space by the way, space with equals one, not two, there we go, height equals one, okay? And then just make sure to close it with the close tag, which is forward slash, um, whatever that is, bracket or something. So, okay, all right, so hit save. Okay, so I just did that, I've got that in there. I'm gonna delete that, hit save, close the builder. Okay, I'm gonna come down here now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit send. So I'm sending the email basically to myself, okay? It's gonna take a second for it to go through. All right, email was just sent. Okay, so I just checked uh, my email. I did it without you guys seeing it because I don't wanna show you my inbox. No offense. <laughs> okay, and now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my, my record that has that email, okay? So I typed in that email, okay? There's my record. I'm gonna go click on this tags here. Ah, look what just happened. I just received the open test broadcast tag. So what you can do with this is that you can, first off, as simple as it sounds, you can create automation that occurs after this tag is applied. Because uh, if you're familiar with the campaign builder, you can have a tag start a campaign. And so you can have the open test broadcast tag, then start a series of emails that go out that also are relevant to the fact that Josh just opened the previous email, right? You could also put it into a campaign where you have emails going out and you have you know that snippet of code uh, applying a specific tag for that email and then if that email is opened you can have two different things happen you can have you can set basically your campaign to recognize whether or not that tag is in the contact record and then have another sequence that occurs after that previous sequence saying I will send them this email if they open the email, I will send them this email if they don't open the email. And you could do all that with a decision node based off of this tag because with the decision nodes, you can say if the contact has this tag, then go here. If the contact doesn't have this tag, then go here, okay? So, so you can do a lot of things with this, but uh, hopefully you found a lot of value in this. Uh, you know, I definitely you know would recommend using this. Uh, you can definitely get some great results from this because of the fact that you are really truly reading uh, your recipients and you're responding to them based off of what actions they're showing you because of this. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this, you know I definitely would appreciate that you uh, subscribe to. Uh, uh, my YouTube channel here, and also possibly go to my Facebook page and like us there. Again, though, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Just post them in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to reply.